Hi, and welcome to Bishop State TV. This is Robert McWilliams, Coordinator of Instructional Design here at Bishop State. And what I'm about to show you is how to access your integrity course. Um, now, to do that, you would need um, two things to be in place. One would be um, you would need to have uh, a blackboard shell because here at Bishop State we have uh, blackboard integrity. Basically, they work uh, work together. Um, so, really, to access integrity, you need a blackboard shell. And then, of course, secondly, you would need to have integrity enabled. So, this recording will not be uh, uh, relevant to every to all of the Bishop State employees who have blackboard accounts because not all blackboard uh, instructors. Are integrity instructors. So you would need to be a Blackboard instructor as well as an integrity um, instructor. Um, so to begin, what you would do is go to the bishop.edu homepage, as you can see, we are here. Um, you would also want to make sure that you're using uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox. Um, those are the recommended browsers. And if you are using Internet Explorer, you want to make sure that you have that you are using Internet Explorer 7 or 8 preferably 8 um, and if you're not sure basically you just go to your help go to about Internet Explorer and then it'll tell you this is version 8 that we have here so to log in go to bishop.edu go to distance learning uh, once you're under distance learning you will go to log in right below blackboard it's going to pop up in a new window. Your, your username, if you are an instructor here at Bishop State, is going to be your employee number. That's going to be either a three-digit or four-digit number. Now, for me, my username is actually my name. Now, your password, by default, if you have not changed it, is going to be your six-digit birthday plus the last four of your social so that's a total of 10 digits again that's your six digit birthday without the 19 plus the last four of your social and once you go ahead and log in now my screen is going to be a little bit different than what you would see you as an instructor uh, well this front this home page my institution is actually similar to what you should be seeing. You should be seeing tools. You should see um, on your far right upper uh, level you should see my courses. Um, as an integrity uh, instructor you would select whatever course that you want to record into. Um, for me I'm going to click on uh, student orientation course. Now once you are in your course you will then uh, you should see if you are if integrity is enabled for your uh, blackboard courses you should notice a integrity uh, link at the very bottom of your menu uh, your course menu what you would do is click on that integrity classes link when you click on that it's going to pop up in a whole new window and um, what it would do, many people ask, what do I, how do I access or how do I download the Tegrity software? Um, once you click on that Tegrity class button or link, it's going to pop up in a new window. And if you do not have Tegrity installed on your computer, it will then prompt you to install Tegrity on your computer. Uh, as for me, I already have Tegrity installed on my computer, so it's not prompting me to download it. Now, if you don't have it, again, you just follow the steps to ask you um, to download the software and then just follow the steps. Now, once you have downloaded the software, it'll actually show up. Um, one key thing that you'll know if you are, have already downloaded the software and have it installed on your computer is you'll see a nice record, a class button. And uh, in essence, what you would do from that point, um, if you're ready to record a class, um, of course, that you just click record, and then your your dialog window will pop up, and then you can just go ahead and record your classes. Now, um, 
Also, one key thing to note here is that you would have a student orientation. I'm sorry. You have whatever class that you clicked on will be located here. So, um, so whatever class that you clicked on, the integrity class link, you'll it'll notate that you're in that course. For me, a student orientation class. Also, all of your orientation, all of the integrity recordings that you have created will also be listed. For me, it's just one recording as of now, and it gives the date and it also gives the duration. For me, it's actually eight minutes and thirty seconds. So, um, so, so that's that. And of course, the record button option doesn't work because I'm already recording. But like I said, if you was to click on the record a class, then you would have a dialog box that will pop up. And um, I'm going to see if I can create another video to actually show you that just so you would know what to do from that point. But um, just to give you an idea, uh, an oral uh, idea of what's going on, you basically have a dialog box. It'll list all of the classes that you have, integrity access to. Um, you can select what class that you would want to go to from that point and record into. Or you should also have the option to record into a private course. With that private course, in essence, anything you record in there, no students will be able to view it. Um, uh, but of course, if you record into an actual course, if you choose to upload once you in, finish your recording, then of course your students will have access to view that recording. Um, once it is indeed recording, if you're in a Windows machine, you should notice that you have in your tray area options. For one, you can see that there's a pause button. If you press that, that'll pause your recording. Um, there's a stop button. Of course, if once you finish to finish the recording, then you just click stop, and obviously it'll stop the recording. There's a little level to let you see your audio. If your audio is being recorded, as you can see, as I talk. The volume jumps up. The the levels jump up. So, um, and of course, just the nice logo to let you know what that you're integrity. So, like I said, we're going to create some other videos to kind of outline um, other steps of using integrity. But this is kind of a basic overview to kind of get from the bishopstate.edu bishop.edu uh, homepage how to log into Blackboard, and how to get started recording inside of integrity. Uh, hopefully, this you'll find this helpful. If you have any questions or any tips, feel free to um, call me, 251-405-7144, um, or of course you can always email me, rmacwilliams at bishop.edu. Um, any suggestions on future videos, things that you want to see in, in clarity, then just uh, let me know and we'll work. Our, do our best to record your video. All right, thank you and have a great Bishop State Day.